This is Ngozi with SocietyHAE.com, and we're here at Lincoln Center for a Midsummer Night Swing, and the house band, or who will be headlining tonight, is Femi Kuti. <laughs> Currently, you're on your U.S. tour. You're saying you're at, kind of at the last leg of it. What what places have you gone to thus far? Oh, I can't remember everything, but Seattle, San Francisco, LA, Philadelphia. About two and a half years ago, I was in Nigeria, that's where I'm from, and I got to see you at the shrine, which was very um, exciting, it was cool. So, performing there and performing here in the U.S., how do you compare the two and which do you prefer? Oh, that's a very difficult question because the shrine is like my home. see me work there, they see me when I start the numbers, they see it when it's finished, they see the number grow. And so it's like sitting in your sitting room at the shrine. When I'm on the road, I'm taking Africa and presenting Africa to the rest of the world. So I try to be a hundred percent serious. No room for lapses or we can play around but not like we would, we would at the shrine. Um have you in everybody in New York is talking about Fela the Musical, Fela the Musical. Have you seen it no. yet? You haven't I was it. protesting, but um, <laughs> Why? I met because I wanted to be in Lagos. Okay. Yes, Broadway, the hype, everything. It's great. It's great for Fela, it's great for the family, it's great for me, it's great for people to know the story, it's great for people to know what Fela went through in his lifetime, fighting against injustice, what the military did to him, how his mother was killed. This is great. Mm -hmm. But I think it would be greater if we can bring the world to the shrine, it is spiritually correct, culturally better, and it will be interesting. The, that means the interest will always grow. If he comes to Lagos, then he can go to Uganda, then he can go to South Africa, he can go all over the world. It's not restricted to Broadway. Yes, so I want to see the play go, go, go everywhere. I want to see the movie because it is fascinating. It is. It is going to be uplifting. It's going to be inspiring for young people to know this story, to understand what a fella was in the 70s through his life. What, because the same story is like a Lumumba, the same story is like a Kwame Nkrumah or a Marcos Gabi. And Africa needs to tell its story in the same um, platform any great movie will be shown. So these are the things we're working very hard on. It's taking a lot of time. It's 13 years since my father has died. But now he's on Broadway. He never had a major hit internationally. But he was a great man. And the world, slowly but surely, is getting to understand the Fela story and why people like me still stand firm in believing in the struggle for Africa. So you heard it here. So I will <laughs> probably go tomorrow, most likely. Yeah. Because Steve. Steve um, Handel met me yesterday and we had a very long talk and he convinced me and he has given me his word he's going to bring the plane to Lagos, to especially not just Lagos, to the shrine. Yes. Since he gave me his word, I'm now going to take his word on it and I promised him I will go and go to the show tomorrow. So most likely I'll be there tomorrow. So you heard it here, Fela, the musical in Lagos at the shrine. We're going to hold them accountable, Jay-Z, Will Smith, all the people producing it. And we're going to be, I'll be there. If it goes to Lagos, I'm definitely there. Does everybody want to go yes. to Lagos? <laughs> everybody wants to go to the shrine. Can you imagine? It would be like when they took Ahmed Ali, the, mm. and Judge Foreman to right. Zaire. Mm -hmm. Everybody will want to come and see how the public will relate. For trade, for brother, brotherhood, for sisterhood, to the connection. I mean, the, the, um, that bridge, the marriage between Am America. And Afro-America and Africa 
will be will get will be the bridge will probably be finally be built okay. where Americans will not be afraid to come into Africa and meet their brothers and sisters. And that is what we have been fighting for. We need to see African Americans participate fully in the development of Africa. Not just seeing it in Africa or in America and that's it. No. And not just sending their money into um, helping mosquito nets. No. They have to participate physically. They have, we all have to be, I'm here in America, not just because I want to make money, but I'm here telling Africa's story. And when I go back home, I'm going to still be telling Africa's story when I get back home. So it has to be like that. Everybody has to participate in fighting against injustice and the social ills that we're witnessing internationally now. And you mentioned telling the story. Is it getting any easier are people listening because you know you you look at Nigeria when I go home a lot of the things are still happening that were happening yeah, but the government is scared okay. the people are enlightened okay. when Fela is on Broadway the government will not like it because more people they want the image of Nigeria they want that hypocritical image to keep on people just pretending as if everything is okay it's not okay we still have no electricity it's wrong there are so many children without a good education, the talent, abundant talent. Now, okay, the national team lost in the World Cup. FIFA's rule is politics, football don't go. So don't put politics and football. Doesn't the president know this? He bans the football team. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Then he makes a fool of himself and brings the football team back. These are the kind of lapses Africa cannot accept or wants right now. We need to develop ourselves. We need the best swimmers. We need an Olympic team. We need to win gold medals. We need to participate on the international stage. Africa can, as we can see, we have good lawyers all over the world. We have good doctors all over the world. We have Africans that are engineers in all the great, greatest universities in the world. We have our athletes winning gold medals individually, worldwide. We have our footballers playing in the Premiership in Spain, in France. So why can't Africa itself be a mecca why do we have to go to Europe? Why do I have to be in New York? Why can't I be in Uganda? Why can't I be in Johannesburg? Why can't I be in Accra? Why can't we make it in Africa? You see now, if Africa was developed, by the time I come to America to perform, I'll be too tired. Because touring in Nigeria alone will take me three months. By the time I tour in Togo, it will take me a month. By the time I tour promoting my album in Ghana, I will tour maybe for Five years on an album in Africa. It's too big. And that's how it should be. And now if there is a market in Africa, then Africa, America can exploit that market for America's sake. American artists too can come and tour Africa. So there is so much potential that African governments need to unite and make Africa, put Africa in the forefront of international awareness and everything. I think that's a good note to end on. So it's just ch challenging ourselves, as Femi stated, to go into Africa, to, to take part, to visit, just like we go anywhere else. There's a lot in Africa to discover. Not I'll just go and visit. And protest while you're visiting. Right. If you go to Nigeria, you see there's no electricity, and I'm telling the truth. Go on the internet and say the government is corrupt. Say Tell, tell them what you see, what you right. see. Let people know that you too, you saw injustice, and it's wrong. You see, by the time there's so much international pressure, the government will be forced to provide electricity. Yes. They, will be provide, they will be forced to provide a good healthcare service. They will be forced Fix to roads. <laughs> you know the story. Because Plumbing, they will, ah, sanitation. You see, all these things we're talking about. Right, giving right. people water, yes. clean water, yes. and all, all these things we have been... We know the story. Yes. So, but if you don't come and see for yourself and get angry for yourself right. and you're waiting for people like me all the time i mean one man can never win the battle but together we will win the battle